511 here on this uh, Tuesday morning. Here are the three things to know about the weather today here in Southwest Florida. Yeah, heat advisory in effect once again today for parts of Southwest Florida. Some of us have been dropped from that heat advisory as I suppose slightly cooler out there today, but dangerously hot all the same across the board this afternoon. There is a better chance at least some of us get on some cooling rain later on here today. All as we're settling into our fairly classic summertime pattern again, meaning dry mornings scattered to widespread afternoon storms. And yes, of course, it's going to be hot and humid as well as we expect in July in Southwest Florida, right? Although it's been a little extra so these last couple of days, these last couple of mornings, this morning, no exception. Now, Punta Gorda, not under a heat advisory, but feeling awfully uncomfortable once again. We have at least dropped to 80 degrees. The latest observation there from Naples, uh, from uh, the airport in Punta Gorda. Dew point is at 77, though. When you get those dew points in the upper 70s, that's that humidity you notice as soon as you venture out of the air conditioning. Feels like numbers there at Punta Gorda in the middle and upper 80s. Many of us feeling like the 90s out there right now. Yeah, very uncomfortable start. I think for many of us, we at least briefly dip into the upper 70s over the next hour or two before the sun comes up and starts to heat things up. But it is brief as we're back in the 80s by 8 o'clock, mid and upper 80s, 9 and 10 o'clock, pushing 90 already by 11 a.m., all of us easily into those 90s later on here today. And again, only part of the equation. You keep the high humidity in place, highs in the 90s with the high humidity feels like numbers, basically what it feels like to your body because the humidity hinders your body's ability to cool itself. We're talking feels like numbers 100 to 105 in most locations. Some spots call your county, in particular, that's where we push the heat index 105 to 110. So another afternoon to be thinking about heat safety. You don't want to push it this afternoon. Take breaks in the shade of the AC when you can to help keep yourself cool. And be sure you're making that extra effort to stay hydrated. There's ABC 7 Live Doppler radar showing you dry conditions out there right now. We'll keep it that way through the morning. Not a single drop of rainfall through at least 12 noon. I do think the first pockets of rain start to develop right about 2, 3 o'clock. And we're tracking scattered downpours and storms the rest of the way. Especially true for our inland areas. That's where the rain chances will be highest today as we go through our storm tracker model. Nothing going this morning. Very quiet as we go toward and past 12 noon. Even by 1 and 2 o'clock, our model shows mainly dry conditions. There's your first downpours and storms starting to flare up inland by 3 and four o'clock scattered to widespread storms. Then for our inland areas, we're talking interior Collier, Glades and Hendry in particular spots like Clewiston and Moorhaven. I can more or less guarantee you will see some rainfall before the day is out. Some of it heavy as those storms fall apart and collapse. They'll try to throw a little bit of rain back toward the coast. But for many of us west of 75, we're so hard pressed to see any rain today. But with that more widespread rain coverage inland, it will throw at least some rain cooled air across the region going into the uh, late afternoon, the evening, and the overnight. So more of us get into the 70s by early tomorrow morning. Skies turn out mainly clear. Any rain ends fairly early. It's a quiet night out there. Tomorrow, a similar day. It's hot. It's humid. Rain coverage still fairly limited, but there will be some storms out there, mainly across our inland areas as we go into the afternoon. Highs in the 90s. Feels like numbers in the triple digits. You can pencil that in right on through the weekend. Also note the rain chances increasing. Scattered storms Thursday and Friday. We're back to widespread rain coverage both Saturday and Sunday during the afternoon. So as you start to make your weekend plans, if you want to be outdoors Saturday and Sunday, best bet, get those plans in early. That's your most accurate forecast. Let's get a look at traffic. ABC 7.